Looks like a lot of fun there. So as 2019 is approaching, the time is now. Get your career and your life together. Get it on track. And here with some tips for success is Lauren Berger. She's the author of Get It Together, Ditch the Chaos, Do the Work, Design Your Success. Lauren, good to see you. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for having me. So you've got about 17 tips, really. Let's maybe pick a couple of the top ones, yeah. you think. And I know we were talking during the break that uh, setting goals, specific goals, is really important. Absolutely. Well, I wrote this book because I was so sick of hearing how busy everybody was all of the time. And I thought there has to be a better way. We can't get busier, right? Yeah. So you're right, setting goals is definitely one of my tips. And it's about not having 100 goals. We all have 100 goals, but really zeroing in on three goals and being really specific and making sure they're measurable goals mm. that you can track and then tracking them all year long it's a great time for resolutions, right? Sure. 2019 around the corner. What would be an example, say, of like a top goal? Yeah. That you so hear instead people? of saying, I want to make more money this year, put a number on it. Right. How much money do you want to make this year? I want to make. $10,000 more this year, whatever it is, but write it down and shout it from the rooftops. You know, know your three goals and stick with them. Okay, and then once you've got that, how do you try to achieve that goal? Yeah, so I think it's all about tracking them. I'm all about getting a new notebook. The first three pages of that notebook is goal one, goal two, goal three, and mm -hmm. every you know couple of weeks you're checking back and you're really tracking your progress and saying, okay, how am I doing? And if you have to tweak a goal, that's okay. Um, mm -hmm. Coping with failure is another one of my tips right and you know I set some goals in 2018 some of them I achieved some of them I didn't and that's okay I think if we're gonna get it together we have to be able to embrace failure and failure is coming right it's around the corner yeah. and we have to deal with it in a productive way yeah because if you kind of don't embrace failure then mm -hmm. you probably won't try something new or try something different if you're so afraid to fail you won't even get out of bed exactly and so much of success happens when you're uncomfortable it yeah. happens when you you know put yourself out there and put yourself outside of your comfort zone so you got to be ready to embrace that failure I know sometimes with me it's the motivation that is so difficult I might have the best plan in mind whether it's eating healthy or exercising or doing something for my job and sometimes you just are tired and you just don't want to go through the steps how do you overcome it's that? funny you say that because yeah. one of my big tips is do things based on the method and not the mood meaning we all uh -huh. say we're gonna go to the gym in the morning but then the morning rolls around yes. and we make a decision based on exactly your what mood. you're saying you're tired you're hungry whatever it is and you really have to identify that wait a second I'm making a decision based on a mood not based on my method mm -hmm. so it's just reminding yourself and really practicing do things based on your method method and not your mood. So is it best to get some kind of a, uh, a schedule together so that you're not making a decision? You just know <laughs> when you wake up, you put on the running shoes and you go out and it's not about how do you feel or right. whether you want to do it. That's what you do. Exactly. Preparation is key. I talk about that throughout the book. One of the things that I like to do is I like to make a to-do list before I go to bed. Mm -hmm. So that way the next morning I don't have a lot of time to sort of monkey around. I really, I know what I have to do and I get right to it. I think sure. sometimes we spend two hours making our to-do list for the day yeah. and then the day's gone. So I think making that to-do list the night before can be really helpful and just help you focus and jump right into what you need to do. You were mentioning that we all feel like we're just overworked, we're just mm -hmm. too busy. And I listen to some friends and I think, well, yeah, they're very busy, but they're doing things that maybe don't really help them in their life. I don't know if they're on uh, social media too much or they're, or yes. they're responding to emails. I think emails we're all that, on social media so, too much. <laughs> so do you have to kind of boil it down to the essentials and try to get rid of some of the clutter so you can focus on what's important? Absolutely. I mean, so many people will sit at work for eight hours and they leave work feeling unaccomplished. Yes. How are you unaccomplished? You've been there for eight hours, but it's a matter of, you know, how you're spending your time. So yes, you have to focus on specific tasks. Finding your focus zone is a big thing. I mean, writing my book was so hard because right. Instagram's going off, you know, people are calling, emails are coming in. How do you focus on a project? Um, you know, how do college kids focus on studying? I have no idea. So it's really important to find your focus zone and really zero in on the task at hand because there are just so many distractions. Yeah. Lauren Berger, uh, show the book again. And if somebody Yay. wants to get it, Amazon, I would imagine, um, right? And elsewhere. Yes, absolutely. You can get the book on Amazon, wherever books are sold. And I'm at Intern Queen and at Official Career Queen on okay. Instagram. We're getting it together. Lauren Berger, good to see you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Happy holidays to you. you. Too.